Where'd you get the water? Where'd I get the water? Yeah. As I was turning in my cans, I caught two guys dumping out cases and cases of water. Is that perfectly good water you're dumping out? Yeah, it's perfectly good water. Why are you dumping it out? Well, the broke down. The first story. <laughs> Did they give you the water? Did somebody give no, you the water? No, we bought it off of card from the store. The motive. Well, I, uh, you can turn it into food stamps. And eventually the real story, using food stamps to buy water, just to dump out each bottle for a nickel. Complete waste, all in all. I mean, it's bummer that they're using the process to do that. You know, they're taking money that we're all providing for them to throw things away that people are desperate for and then make 60 cents off of it. I mean, it really is kind of pathetic. So after shooting the video on my phone, I wanted to find out if this kind of activity was fraud. So I took my smartphone to the people that hand out the Oregon Trail cards. At the Department of Human Services in Eugene, I showed program manager Richard Whitworth a video. It's common enough. They even have a name for it. It's called water dumping. Is water dumping fraud? Mm hmm Well, it's not fraud today. But it will be when the feds pass a new rule that was proposed back in June. He's going to expand that to specifically, you know, address the water dumping issue so that you know, that will become part of the official trafficking definition, and then we can enforce that, we can use that for fraud investigations. But DHS admits, even if these guys had given me their real names and addresses, a fraud investigation is unlikely at best. For cigarettes or things they definitely don't need, they can find other ways to get money for.